Christmas has come early, Sabrina fans. The trailer for Midwinter's Tale is here, and I've got you covered with all the hidden details on what we might expect in this episode. Now, I hate to be a Grinch, but my guess is that this episode won't have any huge, you know, reveals or big twists that will affect Part 2 since it's more of an add-on to the series. It'll be more of a contained episode that will likely revolve around Sabrina and the gang taking on some magical force. And this trailer is chock full of little goodies. So hang up your stockings and sit on Santa's lap. Let's break this baby down. We start on the familiar Welcome to Greendale sign as some fake CGI snow falls while we're introduced to Santa and these creepy mannequin elves. Check out the lineup for Santa and you'll see everyone is dressed in 1950s, 60s period clothing, which leads me to believe this is a flashback, perhaps hinting at the origin of the demonic force in this episode. Now it's possible this could be present day since the show does have that old 50s, 60s aesthetic, but I'm leaning more towards flashback. We then get a brief glimpse of somewhere we haven't seen before. It looks like some sort of lounge for adult warlocks. You'll notice no females here. Sabrina wishes the Weird Sisters a happy solstice. Since witches don't celebrate Christmas, they celebrate the winter solstice, a time to mark when the days begin to get longer. And who can forget this creepy blinking elf? <laughs> We catch a quick glimpse of Zelda, Hilda, and Salem before seeing the Spellman's house covered in snow. I think it looks pretty cool. And bonus points if you notice the pentagram in the middle of the wreath. Sabrina stands over a fireplace, and even though Zelda, Hilda, Ambrose, and her are there, I'm not super convinced this is the Spellman's home. Notice the name Letitia on the stocking and the Santa in the photo, who looks similar to the one we saw earlier. This is either an attempt to lure Santa or ward him off. And Santa seems pretty evil since he uses his sack to grab someone. <laughs> sack. Ambrose is hard at work researching when we get a glimpse of what appears to be the main demon in this episode. A woman in white, almost as if she's a ghost of Christmas past. However, I'm not convinced she's an evil force. Sabrina and the Weird Sisters perform a ritual with a white dress. Could it be the same dress the ghost here is wearing? Are they wanting to communicate with her? We then get this really creepy demon who appears to have trapped Susie? Is that Susie, guys? Let me know what you think in the comments. Cute, Sabrina gets Harvey a present, so it's good to know they aren't exactly on bad terms. And this person looks like they've seen better days, acting as a real-life Lumiere. Enchanté, chérie. Wardwell has created a gingerbread Spellman house, with Ambrose, Zelda, Hilda, and Sabrina all being little gingerbread men, which she promptly bites off. Knowing Wardwell's history with creating voodoo-type figures, I wonder if that will come into play. And here is what I think is the most important clip of the trailer. Sabrina's father handing over a baby to the Dark Lord. This is an obvious flashback, but we aren't sure if this is Sabrina or the twin we saw in part one of the series. It could also be the moment when Sabrina's father signs her name in the Book of the Beast on her behalf. Hilda protects herself with a rolling pin as a bunch of knives fall around her and Ambrose has creepy ghost girls sneak up on him. Again, I don't think she's that evil, but is perhaps wanting the Spellman's help. And the trailer ends with Sabrina giving a cheers, likely after saving the day. My main thoughts are that the Santa is the main villain and he's possessed by this demon here. And this ghost lady was maybe a victim of him in the past and they need her help to stop him. I hope you're as excited for this episode so as I am, I want to know what you guys think, and if I missed anything. I'll be doing a full breakdown of this episode, hopefully coming out with it on the 15th, so make sure you're subscribed with the bell on and smash that like button. In the meantime, I'm wishing you a happy solstice, and remember, Daddy loves you very much.